welcome back to my channel. My name is Meg and I love all things beauty and makeup. And today I thought we'd have fun playing with some goodies that I got from Timu. I thought I had gotten like a full face, but apparently that's not what I shopped. Um, so I already just went ahead and did my base and my brows because I did not have products for that. But we got an eyeshadow palette, we got some blush, so I figure we'll just have fun and jump into it. Okay, start off with, I should check the boxes of things. I just kind of assumed that, like, I thought I had gotten a foundation, but I guess I just assumed that I hadn't because I wasn't expecting it to be in this tiny box. And here it is, which I'm going to have to, like, look back on what I paid for this because I think even just as a, like, discounted thing, like, I'm pretty sure I paid probably, like, six bucks or something Aww. for this. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. Anyways... All good, we will use this another time. Um, I actually only paid like $3.98 for it, so I guess it wasn't so bad, but I still don't really know if this is worth it. If I knew it was this small, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But moving on, let's carry on with the rest of our face. All right, so first product we have here is a blush. This is by, I believe the brand is Yabal. Yabalian and it's like the hello their hello bear blush um there's not like names so it's just uh the number three blush and it's just this beautiful kind of peachy pink um I paid three dollars and 48 cents for this let's see how it swatch very soft does kind of like when I put it on my hand it sort of like didn't immediately settle in and like swatch out but it's a really nice kind of flushed tone. Excited to try this out. So let's grab a brush and give this a go. This is a Morphe R14. We're gonna dab in. I could be a bit more like ginger with it. I feel kind of smell like baby powder. Which is interesting. Um, I don't mind like a really intense blush so if this is pretty pigmented that's fine. Anything I'd rather it be a bit pigmented, but it's also fine if it's not and I have to build it up. Really beautiful color. I feel like it's getting a little patchy here, but I don't feel like that's the blush. I feel like that's an issue that I've just been having. I don't know if it's like the face powder I'm using, but I feel like when I've been putting blush on recently, it's been really patchy right there and just not really wanting to stick. I don't know why, because the face powder is all over my face, but it just is what it is. All right. I like that. Very, very vibrant. <laughs> and I think you could go in a lot softer with this. I don't think you have to go as like heavy handed as I tend to. But... I am a lover of blush, so I go in hard. <laughs> Definitely buildable. I don't really like, I don't, I'm not loving this baby powder scent that there is to it, but I guess it's not like the worst thing in the world, but I definitely don't know if based off that, if this is a blush that I would reach for a lot. Um, like... It's okay. It's cute. It's not bad for the price. I don't know if I'm like really like blown away by this. And then I'm just going to go over with my powder puff a little bit, which I got these in the order as well. They're just like, uh, it was a cute set of like some pastel tie dye uh, puffs. Um, I used them for my powder today and they worked great. I didn't film it just because I wasn't using other products that came in with this. All right, so far, not so bad. And then let's go in. I got a highlighter. This is, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of brands that I'm not really gonna know the name of. Um, I think this is CC or, I don't know, it's XIXI. And it says girls can do anything. And this is the number three. Um, I find that that happens a lot with like their products is like they don't really have names. They're just, um, they just have numbers. And let's look to see what I paid for 
for this. Uh, I paid three ninety eight, so not too bad. It is definitely a small compact, but I'm kind of like, how big of a highlight do you need? It's got a cute little insert thing that says the girls can do anything. I think this. No, I don't think that's a mirror because I think even if like you take the like, it looks like there could be like a frosted thing over it. I still don't think that you'd really be able to see. It's not coming out easily, so I don't feel like picking at that right now. Let's give this a good swatch. Oh, I definitely feel like I have to like, ooh, it's kind of like a putty. Putty, like I don't know if you'll be able to see my indents in my fingers. So definitely like a putty texture and it was like a marbled consistency. And let's put that right beside the blush. Sorry, filming during the day. No. All right, so that was the one swatch. Let's try building it up a little bit. Hopefully you can see, see that on there. It's a really nice like pearly color and there's definitely some like little sparkles. I don't know if I like love the consistency just because I feel like it's gonna be a bit more difficult to apply. I'm just trying to see if I've got sort of the right kind of brush. I'm actually gonna go with this one. Um, it's not something I normally use for highlight. It's a Spectrum uh, 814, but I feel like it's just got a good density to it that I'm gonna be able to pick up the product, hopefully. All right, I'm gonna go in. I tried really hard to pick it up. It didn't really seem like it picked up much product. Yeah, that didn't really, didn't really work at all. I guess let's just go in with our finger. Definitely pick up a lot more. And there it is. I don't know if you can really see it. I feel like it's looking like just like straight up glitter on my face. Yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like this would be pretty to actually better utilize as like a lid topper or something. I don't really know if I'm feeling this for a highlight. I just, I guess, I don't know, maybe, maybe I never tried it, but like the Fenty Beauty, what's it even called? Like that they're sort of like putty diamondy highlight. Maybe this could be a really cheap dupe for that. I don't know, but not, not really my cup of tea. I would be shocked if I really reach for this again. All right, next we got this eyeshadow palette. I think it's pretty obvious what this is trying to copy dupe. Um, I tried to pull it up on the Timu app so I could refresh myself on what I paid for it, um, but it's no longer available, so I can't seem to get the price or anything. And I was also gonna pull it up to see whether or not like the picture that they show um, represents how I think the palette looks in real life. But sh this is the Mafic Leopard Shadow. Definitely love the appeal of it. There is the inside. I think it's cute. Um, I feel like there's definitely a lot of shades that look a little repetitive. Um, but I think it could be a really cute palette depending on how the shadows perform. So let's just dig right into it. I am going to first smooth out my eye primer. We're just going to keep the look basic today. Nothing too complicated. And start off with, I'm going to grab just like a Morphe Packer brush. And which shade should we go in with first? Um, I think I'm going to take Animal Instinct, which looks like it's supposed to be like a black or at least a dark gray. A lot of kick up in the pan, which isn't something that like bothers me, but it's just Something to take note of just because you would probably just want to make sure that you tap off your brush. My eye, this eye constantly waters on the lower outer corner, like the 
outer corner, the lower lash, and I just, I don't know, I just had to roll with it. So it might sort of affect the look a bit, which won't be the shadow's fault, but it is what it is. All right, we're going to go in and start tapping this shade down. Not bad pigment. Nothing uh, mind-blowing yet, but so far, like, not bad. Like, that's two layers, and I feel like it looks black, so there is that. I don't want to bring that up too high just because I want to be able to use some other shades and be able to blend this out without it getting completely out of control. So... So let's keep it, keep it lower down. We'll work with that. Next, I need a blending brush. And we'll go in with, actually, let's go in with, I I just have the brush. Yeah, we'll use this one. It's a BH Cosmetics from one of their sets. And I think I want to go in with this kind of deep sort of, mauve mauve ish shade here called mischievous i do like that there's like names for the shadows that's kind of cute i there's some higher end like palettes that don't do that so i think this is nice Ooh, a lot. i don't know if you'll be able to see any of that on camera but like i tap it and like a ton of stuff comes off let's start Blending out. I'm gonna have to like really finesse the blend because um, right off the bat, like this shade is blending out nicely on its own, but like it, this and the black are not really doing anything to each other. So I think I have to like blend the black into this one a bit more. But we're going to go in with like one more, even like lighter shade. So I'm not going to worry as much about the total blend of this. This might not have been the best brush. It's a little bit bigger than I was intending for. And therefore, just like trying to control it and finesse the blend is being a bit troublesome but whatever and then let's go in this is just like a morphe brush and i'm going to go into the shade right beside that uh it's like light kind of purpley called lust it's like a dusty purple and we're just going to It happens. I'm going to a kid's birthday party <laughs> later, and I'm not sure if I'm going to wash this off beforehand or try to see how it wears, but I really don't want to be there testing out a shadow and uh, have like half my shadow be gone. So I don't know. I might wait, wear it for a little bit at home and see how, see how it goes. And I just like naturally did like what my normal kind of blending and build technique is, which is I start off with the darkest shade always, and then I work my way out to the lightest, and then I work my way back to the deepest, um, just to like now that we have like the blend out with the softest shade, um, I can re-add any pigmentation that we lost with the deeper shades. Um, I just find a lot of times if I go in with the deeper ones, like the lightest to deepest, I find most formulas, um, it just feels like they don't blend on top as well. So now we're going back in with a little bit of mischievous, just to make sure that that's still there. Not really worrying about kind of what happens on the lid right now, because we will 
be covering that with a shimmer, so. So far though, like the shadows seem like they're blending together nicely. Definitely gives, at least with the shades I picked, uh, definitely getting like a vampy sort of a feel. Um, I feel like this palette, like, I don't know, I guess depending on how well the shadows, I don't think the formula is gonna be anywhere near as good. Like, like not even, I don't think, like I know it's not as good, but I think color story wise, this could be a nice dupe also. Like if you sort of liked the idea of like the, um, Chucky and Glam Light palette. Uh, I feel like this, you can definitely get a similar vibe, but you do have um, at least like the one or two lighter shades in here as well. So I guess, I don't know, take that for what you will. Um, and then I'm going to actually grab another little blending brush. I can find something. Yeah, we'll go with this one. I'm gonna take this Luxie 131 and we're gonna go into that Animal Instinct, the black, and we're gonna just help blend that into the other shades. I can't remember what I grabbed for a lipstick. Hopefully it was something that goes with this. I have to go back in with that prior shade, almost like on top of the black, just to help finesse that blend a bit more. Yeah, like that's already a lot better when I went in and did that immediately. Go. All right, something kind of like that. All right, I think I am happy with that. Um, before we jump onto the lower lash line, let's play with a uh, shimmer. So I just want to swatch some of these. I guess I should have done it. Ooh, that is very sheer. <laughs> Oh, these are all very, very sheer. Oh, except I guess for that one. That just comes across as very black. Uh, there's like four of the swatches. I ooh, don't know how I feel about any of those. Um, Let me... I got an individual shadow as well. Um, it's from Zhao, Zhao, Zhao Yumi. I don't know how to pronounce this. And it doesn't have like really a name or a number on the package. So I don't know which one it is, but it was just like a very sparkly looking shadow. So I thought that would be cute to try. The packaging very much gives me like the Urban Decay Moon Dust vibes. Make sure my fingers are clean. Actually, I'll swatch with this one so that way. All right, that already like looks a lot more pigmented. And then let's, ooh, that's pretty. Definitely not as sparkly as it seemed in the ad. Oh, it's like quite disappointing. I don't really have like anything that's good shimmer wise to go with. All right, well, we're gonna place down some NYX glitter glue because I feel like these shades will all definitely desperately need 
something. And I use like NYX glitter glue for like every shimmer. So like, yeah, I kind of be like, oh, this is how they perform without it if you're curious, but it's like, I use it. So it's like, if you want to see someone use shimmers without it, then maybe pick another video. Um, what one do I want to go with? I think I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go with this like pink here called Alluring. Um, we're going to try to pick that up on the same brush. And then let's, Definitely a little bit better with like that glitter glue, but this is not spreading smoothly at all. This is not, not very good, but I don't know. I guess what could we have expected? This is my first time trying the shadow from, from Timu. So I, I didn't really have like high expectations. But I was kind of like, yeah, we'll try it. Because if it's amazing, like, that's going to be a great find. But amazing? If this, this is not really. And then just a little bit more of the black just to make sure the blend is good. <laughs> Ugh. And then we'll probably take that individual shadow and put that on the inner corner once we do the lower lash line just to use it in some way but that one was not very promising either so I definitely don't think Timu shadows no matter how sparkly they look in the ad are the way to go if you're looking for something sparkly and impactful all right, I think that is good for that. Um, I didn't grab like a stick liner or anything like that, so I'm just gonna go in with this one from Melt. So I have something in my waterline. And a little bit kind of on the outer corner of the lash line as well just to help with that blend and what brush do we want maybe we'll take this one this is i know it's from like a quill set i just don't know like it doesn't have a name aside from it saying quill which is like the shoppers drug mart uh like in-house brand if you don't know they're not from Canada, you might not know that. But we're gonna take that and some of the black and just start to blend. Make sure that uh, the lower lash and the lid connect nicely. And I'm just trying to like soften it lightly because I don't think I'm going to go in with anything else below that. Hopefully it's not too loud, but one of my children or even both my children are running back and forth down the hall. This is what I get when I try to film during the day. Oop, went a little bit lower down on this side than I meant to, so now I'm going to have to match that all right let's just go with that and then i'm gonna i think i'm just gonna take it with my finger this packaging is not easy to open i had to take a brief break because my camera battery died and i don't have spares for this yet uh, so we didn't do anything else. We'd gotten the, uh, individual shimmer on the inner corner. Not really impressed. I don't think it really kind of does anything. There's a little bit of lightness that it adds, but I think on the most part, 
Oh my gosh, again, so hard to open. I think on the most part, it's just not super impactful. I probably wouldn't ever really reach for this again. I am having a lot of like just sort of issues with the outer corner here, but like I said in the beginning, that's not the shadow's fault. That's just my eye right now. Um, I contemplated trying to wear this out um, for stuff we have to do today, but I think if it's just gonna be like this much of a hot mess, I might just have to kind of take this off. Uh, we have three products left. So we have a eyeliner. And this is by Suaki. And it's just like an eyeliner in black. It's got a cute little component here. Like a felt tip liner. Very fine. So if this is a nice formula, this might be nice for my brows too. Because I love using a liner for the brows. I guess before I start putting on my eyes, I could show you. Wow, I should have even tried that myself. Well, I guess we're not using this because I am literally going like this and, and nothing. So, never mind. Scratch that. Definitely was not worth the money. How much did we pay for that little gem? Whoops. How much? That was $1.79. Um, definitely not worth it. Uh, and oh, that single shadow was $2.98. I definitely don't think that's worth it either. Like in the pictures, they definitely hype up. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but like they definitely hype up the sparkle kind of on that. So I think that it was a bit deceiving. Um, all right, what else have we got? So let's just go in with some liner that I have because I just think this look could definitely use a little bit. Nice. All right. And this is just a liquid liner from Defiance Beauty that I got in my most recent uh, BoxyCharm. And I've been absolutely loving this. Great formula. If you haven't checked them out, I have Boxy, uh, my Ipsy, <laughs> my BoxyCharm by Ipsy, and then also Ipsy Glam Bag unboxings uh, already live on my channel. So let's go in with mascara next. So this is the by She Does, She Do, whatever, She Does. Uh, and it is the Bambi Oversized Eye Mascara. I don't know, I just thought it sounded cute. I was like, let's give it a go. Cute packaging. I don't really know kind of what issues they'd run into with like copyright stuff because Bambi is very much like a character and like they even have a picture of Bambi on there, but uh, big wand. So you can see a bit curved and I think it's like a plastic bristle brush. A little bit hard to maneuver because of the size. But it seems to be going on nice and smoothly so no issues there. All right. I've had to stop twice because I'm just trying to like quick charge my camera enough to get through the video. Um, the, the lower lash of this eye is just such a hot mess. It is just getting so irritated. So I've kind of touched up and blended the best I can, but we're just going to roll with it. Last product we have is from, I think it's from Dragon Renee is the brand. Dragon Renee, and it's Velvet Mist Matte Lipstick, and I got this in number six. Just thought the packaging was pretty cute. Right? And then that is the shade. Let's do a little swatch. It's got an interesting sort of like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it diamond kind of cutout tip to the shade. Kind of smells like fuzzy peaches. 
And there is the shade. That's pretty. I like that. All right, let's just go straight in. Very creamy, but going on the lips really kind of patchy and not uber pigmented. The application is kind of crappy, but I didn't feel like grabbing out a lip liner. I felt something gritty for a second. All right, there's one. I, I think the shade is pretty cool. Um, I like that. The formula is like really creamy, which, so I don't really feel like this is like very matte at all. So for longevity, like, I don't know, the way that applied, I don't have the highest hopes for, for, uh, for that. Anyways, that is all the products. I think kind of doing a roundup, I would say, I think my top product would probably be the eyeshadow palette, not the shimmers at all, but the mattes really did seem pretty pigmented, um, seemed to blend out relatively well. Uh, so I think, you know, for being like an affordable, uh, eyeshadow palette, um, it was not, not bad. So how much I'll use again, I don't know, but Anyways, um, I think next going from that, I'd say maybe the blush because it did have some good pigment to it. I don't know whether or not it'll have any like fade later, but so far so good. Um, I guess after that, maybe the mascara. Um, it seemed to go on really nicely. Uh, you know, I don't really generally have too many thoughts about mascara because I almost always put lashes on. Um, next, maybe the lipstick. I don't know. It's the newest thing I put on, but like, I really like the shade. I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really sold on the formula. Um, especially when it says matte lipstick lasting, like I just, I don't think I get that impression that it's going to be, but the, the color is 10 out of 10. So love that. Um, I think I feel like I would put almost all three of these in, oh, sorry, no both of these in the same category. Um, they really didn't kind of give much of anything, any oomph and I don't know. And then that eyeliner, whichever I throw in the trash is just the bottom of the barrel because it didn't even work. So that was crappy. Anyways, that is my face look of using makeup from Timu. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this. I'd love it if you gave this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, stick around for more. Also check me out on my other platforms. I'm Spooky Mama Glam on Instagram and TikTok as well. But yeah, this was fun trying these out. Uh, you know, no holy grails discovered, but it's always fun getting to try some new makeup. So hope you enjoyed this. Catch you in the next one. Bye!